Hello everybody, this is another Hot Wheels Collector video. Today we're going to be looking at the Lamborghini Cyan FKP37 from Hot Wheels. This is a nice casting, to say the least, and uh, this couldn't have done, been done too much better. I'm really liking it, although the colour is a bit funky and uh, we're yet to see a good colour of it because there's an orange one coming out and that's no better in my opinion. But anyways, let's take a look at this car got this one um, from hmm, Asda, I'm pretty sure, yeah, it would have been Asda, so yeah, it's a really, really cool one, without further ado, let's just get into it, there's not a whole lot of backstory on this one, so looking at the side, we don't have any tempo work, kind of basic from the side, looks uh, mm, sort of accurate, it's quite decent though, and uh, we have these interesting wheels, which are really rarely used now, they're almost a, a supercar wheel in my opinion. That's why I'd, you know, put them on. They're in a, like an orange chrome almost. It's it's kind of like a goldy bronze. It's weird, okay. This color wheel is nice. It fits on the car, but it's odd. Just like the color is, it's like a matte green color, almost like an army camo color. It's really really weird. This car, like I'm saying, um, it's a. I don't know where they got the idea of this debut color. Um, of course the cyan really is known for this color, but it. It's interestingly done by Hot Wheels here. We have that vent on the side. I'm going to zoom in slightly so you can see things a little bit better. Uh, that vent is taken through to the interior plastic. That's why it looks black. And that's really it for this side. Not a whole lot going on. So taking a look at the front of the car. Oh, there we go. That's where the tampons are. So we have the Lamborghini badge. We have this lovely um, engravement into people... Is this the hood or the trunk? Let's argue. It's at the front, and it's on the frunk. Frunk. Let's call it the frunk, as uh, most people do. So this is a nice, like, engraved frunk that almost resembles a vent, but it's just kind of a design cue for aerodynamics. We also have the headlights, which are being fully tampered. They're actually really complexly done. They kind of, like, weave into the casting, and it's really, really interesting. So there's one headlight. Hopefully you can see that. It looks great. There's the other one. And uh, the base of this car is black, and that is used to create the entire like front grill area, as you can see below, with all the vents and um, nice fins, and it really looks great. Uh, this car is really, really nice, and it also has wing mirrors, uh, not wing mirrors, it doesn't have wing mirrors, but it does have windshield wipers. It's kind of a shame that it doesn't have wing mirrors. It really does ruin the aesthetics of the car, but it is a mainline, so we do have to forgive them. But if this does come to premium, won't be happy. Let's just say that because it needs wing mirrors. Please, please start adding them to premiums. It, I don't really, you know, you, you know my opinions on it. Anyways, this side is the same as the previous, so I'm not going to bore you with it. Not a whole lot going on in this car. It's very much a uh, factory fresh. That's why it was in the factory fresh set as it came out. So we have uh, the rear, we have the rear lights which have been done, they're done very nicely, uh, as you can see there. We also have a nice license plate, which is obviously like a factory, like showcase almost, uh, license plate which reads Cyan with the Italian flag, and also FKP37. We also have the dual exhausts, which are in a very odd shape for exhaust, we don't see many odd shapes, um, and these are really quite nice. We also have a diffuser underneath, which you can just about see. Very nicely done. And that uh, cast, the actual cast, so the metal, kind of wraps around the plastic bits. It's very complex. If you were to take this apart, it'd be quite a, a an interesting uh, cast and probably quite a difficult one for them to um, recreate. So it's interesting they picked this one over easier um, cars, which it could, you know, make more easily, which are more like blobs. Um, there's kind of a bit of conspiracy that uh, that's why they did the ID buzz because it's kind of like a basic thing to create. You can't really go wrong. It's kind of just like a blob and you just tamper on it. Anyways, that's really the rear. Not a whole lot more going on. This car is really, really odd. I don't know if it's scale, but it looks really long. But when I've looked at pictures, this car looks quite long. Like, uh, when I say quite long, it's really long. I thought this casting was maybe just a bit, you know, out of proportion scale-wise, but no, it is a long car. 
there's the top it has this huge and i mean huge rear window which obviously the engine would be, be uh, underneath and you'd be able to see it in real life this is the main line and a hot wheels so you won't get any of that detailing uh, although you probably can maybe see the engine if you really get in the right uh, angle but you're not going to see it on camera and obviously we have some more aerodynamics there um, so we have that you know allow the flow of air from that hood right over up there and down the back and out the back obviously we have a, we have active aero on this car so that spoiler would pop up and uh, that is obviously over the speed of 60 I would imagine because that's usually you know what we expect the speed to be when it'll pop up and down when it goes below 60 not much more to comment on this one's quite a standard car it's literally as it comes out the factory oops um not a whole lot to report on there so what do i rate this one out of 10 okay let's do this so remember out of 10 the rating system i'm going to go back over this because i haven't done it in a while and there's probably like quite a lot of new viewers so a 10 obviously um about up to three is like bad like really bad three to seven is like in the okay good range and then obviously your seven to ten is like really good so out of ten i'm going to give this one a solid six out of ten it's a really nice cast and i just i just don't think this one's uh particularly great and neither is the orange one so i wouldn't be looking to upgrade it because i'm happy with this one it just you know what i mean the wing mirror is not being there and few other things it's, it's a bit dodgy looking but hey it's decent it's still a good one it's not bad it's good it's above average five is you know your average you know, you know what i mean so it's above average would i recommend you buy it if you see it definitely it's definitely a nice one to add to the collection anyways if you enjoyed make sure to like the video if you are new make sure to subscribe if you want notifications press the notification bell and uh, share this to any groups or friends and family who may be interested. Anyways, that is it for this video. See you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.